<laughs> and maybe we're graphing Ryan rate here, right? We could we could graph you know for Eleanor who doesn't know, the Ryan rate we have uh, calculated is a rate at which Ryan's success at asking girls out can be it's, modeled it's really by machines. <laughs> it's very, uh, well, uh, it technically will give you like an arrest warrant and probably like a restraining order because at that point you're harassing you people. You need For a flowers ball. Oh, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chocolates can be X too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Number of chocolates bought. So we're just gonna write like hmm? flour. Uh, no. <coughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's bagging. You know what? That's it. Ryan's way of telling someone I love you is by buying her a bag of flour. <laughs> just that. <laughs> okay, Ryan, you're buying bags of flour. Now. So remember, we said in our previous term that zero meant that y equals zero, and x meant that y equals. One. We're, what we're saying is when y equals 1, we're saying that Ryan is successful. If y equals 0, we're saying that Ryan has failed and probably is in jail now. So, children. Now, what we're going to say here is if Ryan buys this girl zero flour bags and zero chocolate, oh, you're no. successful. And while this is very unrealistic, Ryan, because we all know that would never happen, that doesn't mean that we're not going to graph this. So, and if we talk here, let's say Ryan buys this person one chocolate and zero bags of flour, well then you are not successful. If you buy this person one bag of flour and one chocolate, you are successful. And if you buy this person one bag of flour and zero chocolates, she's going to be very concerned for you. But, <laughs> that we can move on to our intuition on how we can model the Ryan rate. Because at the end of the day, the Ryan rate is very important. We even we need to give it a name. It's going to be R naught. It means giving flour actually works. See? Uh, well, you you have to combine that flour with fifty percent of the time. I mean, we're excluding the part where you take them hostage, of course. But. get asked out, there is no in-between, there is no maybe Ryan does because he buys her 10 bags of flour, but I don't think... Yes, no? Uh, okay. If you want to do your project on that... Ryan, I think, I think that would be really good for you. I should probably. I should actually go get some real data. I do not endorse that. But I do admire it. And <laughs> Go buy bags of flour. <laughs> Go buy bags of flour. Okay. One, so when Ryan buys one bag of flour and one chocolate, which I kind of don't want to think about, just Ryan <laughs> handing over your half a bag of flour. I don't know, do you live in like the 1300s, Ryan? So, out some truth. And if this truth is one, then we're saying that the value of this, that he, he's accepted. The girl says yes. <laughs> Ryan has finally succeeded, but if it computes out zero, I really messed myself up with this situation. <laughs> what is the value of one at this point? <laughs> what is the value of one? Uh, <laughs> what is the value of one? <laughs> deal with ands and ands and buts and whatever. Why do I keep saying but? There is no but operator. Okay. <clears throat> Calm down. They can't hurt you. Mr. Editor. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Editor is going to have a joy with this. Anyway. Ryan, as much as I appreciate your guy's sense of humor, I have a bloody class to teach. Yeah, but this is what the entertainment on the YouTube channel is, so yes. we, we keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> and I give you guys zero credit for Yes. I could have dance for <laughs> Anyway.